Hello everyone, and welcome to Wool's Wheels. Now in this video, I'm going to be changing a hose or two on my 1991 Rover Mini City. Now I will say at this point that it's not an instruction video on how to change a hose, because everybody's basically got a different way of doing it that works for them. So this is how I did it. Uh, if it helps you out with your own vehicle, that's great. That's a win in my book. I will explain now a lot of this video is going to be a voiceover simply down to the fact that the audio files for whatever reason got corrupted which is unfortunate however I have managed to salvage the uh, the visuals of it so hopefully you get a good idea from that and I will talk you through what I've done using the voiceover so without further ado let's crack on and I hope you enjoy so before you all start getting happy with the wrenches, pulling off your hoses and feeling very happy and good about yourself, what you want to do is obviously let the coolant out of the system first so that well, it can't pour all over you. So the easiest way to go about doing that on the Mini, as you can see here, is to take off the front grill to get access to the bottom of the radiator where there's a little plug. And this way then, that's where the coolant pours out and you can do whatever you're going to do with it after that. If you're struggling to get access to the underside of the car, put it up on some wooden blocks. This will give you some extra clearance. Although it's not massively clear from this angle, what I'm doing is just undoing the little plug from the bottom of the radiator, which will hopefully unleash the coolant. You can see little bits of it coming down now. To help the coolant flow through the system a bit easier and actually get out of the radiator, what you can do is just take the radiator cap off and this will allow the air to actually work its way through and help the coolant to come on out to the bottom. Now here comes the fun bit, using the ratchet to remove the old Jubilee clips from the hose. As you can see, nothing wrong with this one, this one's already been changed but it was placed in upside down which from an aesthetic point of view was quite annoying. So what I'm doing here is going to take it off and put it the right way up. With the Jubilee clip now removed you should be able to just pull off the pipe. If you're struggling with that, you can use a little screwdriver or something else like that to help prise the pipe off, as long as you're very careful not to actually puncture it or anything else that's important around it. But after using a little bit of brute force, the pipe comes free. next stage of course is then putting the Jubilee clip back on to the pipe and tightening up but obviously make sure you don't over tighten it otherwise that would be bad and could potentially puncture your new pipe work. Next up, we move on to a pipe that does actually need replacing. So, you can see, compared to the other pipe pipe around it, this one is a black rubber hose, and the other one's a blue silicon. So, for aesthetic reasons, and the fact that the pipe probably hasn't been changed in about 10 years or so, it's a good idea to change it at this point. As you can see, the pipe on this one uses a Jubilee clip to hold it on in place, so just like the other hose, what you want to do is just loosen that off. And once again, using brute force, try and pull the hose off. This one you see has got a little bit of coolant still left in it. Sorry, 
Next up, grab your mug of boiling hot water and stick the hose in there for a very short while. This will help soften it up, ready to put it onto the engine block. Next, grab some washing up liquid and stick it on your finger. And then put it inside the hose. This will help to lubricate it when putting it onto the engine block itself. And then, using some force, you can put it onto the car. After this, grab your radiator bottom plug and stick it back in. Obviously do this, otherwise you'll end up losing all that fresh coolant you're about to put in. Put some new fresh coolant into the system. Place your cap back on the top of the radiator. And then give it a little wipe down with the dirty rag that you've got. And now we're just left with the old cooler to dispose of. So what I'm going to do is just shove it into an old coolant bottle and then put it into my trailer ready to take to the local recycling centre when that reopens eventually. And that's it for this video guys so if you've liked what you've seen please remember to leave a like if you want to comment down below please feel free all comments are welcome and if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future please remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you very much for watching guys that's it and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.